Hi everyone, Aiden here with eTrio.com. Today we're taking a look at the Hollywood Racks Sport Rider SE here on our 2016 Winnebago Spirit Motorhome. This is going to be a really solid platform style bike rack designed for e-bikes. Now I say platform style, that means it's being held in these cradles and this one is being held by the frame with this frame hook up here. The frame hook is gonna mean that we probably want to avoid carbon frame bikes because that will damage the frame and alternative frame bikes are probably gonna need a bike adapter bar to make sure this hook gets a good grab and a good hold on the bike. Otherwise though, it's gonna be a really nice setup because right out of the box, it is gonna work with your e-bikes, 80 pound capacity per bike, which is really high, especially for something that is motorhome approved. The other thing to consider is fat tire bikes. You can hold a tire width up to five inches. So right out of the box, you don't need an extra strap kit or anything like that, it'll work. Now it does have the option to tilt away from your motorhome with the bikes loaded because it is a platform style rack. And to do that, what we gotta do is pull this pin and retaining clip down here. And then this little pull pin here will release it and we can ease it down. Now, typically this is for hatch access in a passenger vehicle, but because we have this cargo door right here, you can get to the latch on your side there. I can kind of get out of the way to open it. We can get access to this cargo compartment, get what we need without having to unload our bikes. This is also gonna help get us some extra clearance for the ladder here, because if we did have this folded up, I wouldn't have as much room to step up and get access. So it's really nice to see we don't have to sacrifice any functionality of our motor home just to have this bike rack in place. Now, sneak my way out of here and we can tilt it back up. And then we can get the bike unloaded to take a closer look at some of the other features. Make sure we replace that pin and retaining clip at the bottom. That is just extra support back here. And then we can remove the straps first. These are gonna be down by the cradles. We'll just press in this button on the side and pull out the ratcheting strap. And we'll do that on either cradle. These are our secondary points of contact, ensuring that our bike stays down in the cradles. This gives it extra support. And then for the hooks, we've got buttons on the side that we can push and raise up. Now these don't fully come up off the mast, so it will be a little finicky to get the bike off. And then these buttons do also lock, so we can get it nice and secure when we're not around. Sneaking it kind of around the wheel hook there. You can kind of see the disadvantage of the center mast like that. Some of these other platform style racks don't have that in the way. What comes to mind for me is the Hollywood Racks Destination e-bike rack. It's got a slightly lower 70 pound capacity, but the mast for that actually sits behind both bikes, so it's just out of the way. Now, I always like to replace the straps and actually fold the mast down right now just to kind of get it out of the way. You can just fold the mast down by pulling this pin right here. It does have a tab that'll line up with a notch, just like that, and fold it down flat. And same thing, just make sure you line up that tab with the notch. From here, let's get some measurements. We'll start off with our ground clearance, which is gonna be 23 and a half inches at the back end here. Pretty good. I don't think we'll have any issues bottoming out on a motorhome. And then for distance added to the back, we are gonna be sticking out 26 inches. Compared to some other bike racks, that's actually pretty good. I don't think you have to worry about any extra added distance. Just keep in mind that it's back there. When the bikes are unloaded though, if we want to leave this in the hitch, we can. We can save some space by actually folding this upright, pulling this pin closest to us, folding it upright, and you'll see that that bottom pin actually will automatically latch in, lock it in place. And from here, it's only going to be sticking out about 13 and a half inches. And that's the end of the handle right here. So a lot more condensed and easier to work with. Down at the bottom, that handle is actually our integrated anti-rattle device. Just tighten that up or loosen it by hand, no tools needed, and that'll get a good strong hold in the hitch. At the hitch, it's going to work with a two inch by two inch receiver. And on this side here, we actually have a lock. So everything is locked up and secured in the hitch. And those keys are key to like to the handles up top. So it's all under one system. 
And overall, if you're looking for a bike rack that is gonna give you the most weight capacity you can get on the back of your motorhome, this is definitely my pick. 80 pounds is no small feat, especially for a motorhome bike rack. Personally though, if you're looking for convenience, I'd go with the Hollywood Racks Destination e-bike rack, just because I think it's easier to work with. Either way, they're gonna serve you really well for your motorhome here and work really well. Thanks for watching.